Today, next half an hour, 45 minutes, we are going to discuss about the tropical infections in the intensive care. Objectives of this talk is going to be to understand the clinical features of common severe tropical infection which come to the intensive care units. Also to understand the diagnostic criteria and approach to differential diagnosis. And finally to understand therapeutic strategies and treatment and prognosis because these three things are extremely important in any condition. And then once we are able to clearly understand these three objectives, then we shall be able to, we expect to manage our patients better. What is a tropical infection? It is an infectious disease uniquely or more commonly in tropical and subtropical regions and it is more widespread in the tropics and difficult to prevent or control. Most of these are vector borne diseases and the tropics are the areas which usually are 30 degrees up or down equator and the area which concerns of Tropic of Capricorn and Tropic of Cancer. This is an area which is very conducive to the growth of fauna and flora as well as of insects and the human beings. When we say they are more difficult to prevent or control because large number of them are vector borne diseases, especially mosquito is a very important vector and similarly quite a few of these diseases are also infested or are transmitted by a mite. The common tropical infections in our context in our subcontinent are malaria and in malaria plasmodium falciparum is the most important but of late we are seeing a malignant form of plasmodium vivax. Further the fifth another dimension has been added by the introduction of infection of plasmodium nolacy in our country. Dengue fever is another important thing and all of you must be aware that recently there has been a huge epidemic of dengue fever and in fact it is coming in circles sometimes hitting the urban areas of north sometimes west south or east scrub typhus is another disease which we are seeing there is a resurgence which has happened over last quite a few years and now is well known entity and being identified more commonly with the availability of uh, resources to diagnose scrub typhus Typhoid fever or enteric fever always have been there and same is true for leptospirosis which again these things we see commonly after monsoon. Influenza which is supposed to be a disease of temperate climate coming in the winters practically we are seeing a perennial transmission in this country at one or the other end.